Hello and welcome back, Sleepy What's It here and I have another miniatures video for you. In this video we're going to continue the process of experimenting with different techniques and crackle paints for making miniature bases. If you haven't seen my previous video from a couple weeks ago on warpstone uh, cracked earth bases, you should go uh, check that out. I'll put a link down below so you can go see what I did in that. But we're kind of continuing from where that took us from doing kind of like a layered thing with classic painting techniques with crackle medium over it and then moving on to experimenting with using Citadel's contrast paints with a crackle paint over it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue from that point and instead of using the dark bright green with black over it, we're gonna experiment with uh, blue with more of a brown sand stone color to it. My initial idea here was to get something that was more representative of like a desert sorcerer cracking the ground with his eldritch power. What I ended up with was something that was more of like an aquatic or tidal looking type base. I really like how they look, to be honest. Not what I was initially intending, but that's kind of the point of experimenting is to go and find things out like that. With that all being said, we'll get into actually showing the process I went through and you can, uh, to get these. Uh, you may notice on some of the cuts that there is a third base in some of them. I did do one other experiment involving using astrogranite debris. I didn't like how it turned out, so yeah, it got kind of cut from the video. So let's get into this. And since we're experimenting, we're going to be using two different colors. So I have a lighter blue here with this athermatic blue uh, for one of our, our base colors. And the other undercoat color here is a darker blue, a little bit more vibrant with the Telesar blue. Both these contrast paints from Citadel. Um, the bases, based them out, originally primed them with light gray from Vallejo. And then I got some air uh, gray sear here and thinned it out a little bit and ran it through my airbrush just so that we have a a solid consistent uh, base to work on top of since we're working with contrast paints. And then the actual crackle medium that we're going to be putting over this is a Grellian Earth, a little bit of uh, more of a brown, not black. Hopefully we'll be able to brighten that up to get it to more of a sandy color. So as with my previous uh, bases uh, that I did with contrast paints, I decided to kind of try and go with two layers. So we're thinning out our contrast here using a little bit of contrast medium. The reason we are, the reason I went this route is so that you get a little bit more depth of texture in the paint. And now I'm just uh, loading uh, some arithmetic uh, blue in here. As I said, I use about a one to one ratio. So you can see it was like four brush or three or four brush loads here, mixing it up with the back of the brush. And unfortunately, because I'm not comfortable yet painting on camera, you will know, you will see during our little speed session here that the uh, painting went a little bit out of it. But yeah, just stripping, it, it kind of getting it all over, trying to get a layer over everything, knowing that the contrast medium is going to contract and kind of create some texture for us. So yeah, there you can see what the initial version of the tel uh, the ethmeric blue looks, and then just gonna jump over to completing the Talis uh, Talisar blue. The paint's nice pooling abilities. I think this looks pretty fine. Uh, for the ethmeric blue here, probably could have gone a little bit uh, thicker on the paint, a little bit less medium because it's a little bit thin, but this is why we put two layers on. So the second layer that we're going to put over is basically the same idea, thin paint, uh, contrast paint spread over the entire surface area and let dry. Now that we've let both uh, layers dry, we can see what our undercoat looks like. So this is the Talisar Blue. It's got a really nice, rich, oceany look to it. I really actually like how this looks. I wish I could figure out a way to use just this for something. And then our other base here at the Athematic uh, Blue probably could have been with slightly thicker paint, a little bit less medium cutting it down because it did get a little bit thin in places, but I think it will still work. So the crackle of paint that we're going to be putting over this is a Grillian Earth, as I mentioned before. So we're going to be put, uh, going to put this on a bit thick. Use your favorite sculpting tool for this. Don't use a brush. You'll just wreck your brush. As you can see, I can't keep things in frame, but you know, it's say la vie. So the kind of thickness we're looking for here is kind of like a thick, like almost like peanut butter, smooth peanut butter thickness of this. Just uh, touching it up a bit there. If you make it a little bit thinner than that, then it's going to not crackle correctly. And it's just going to look weird and scaly. So after letting this sit overnight, this is what we've ended up with for texture. The crackle paste has completely dried and it's broken apart. So you have these little islands with deep uh, visible ranges through them. 
if you put her on thicker than I did, then those gaps will be smaller uh, uh, still. But if you put it on too thin, on the other hand, you end up with kind of just a primer. So to get this more of a sandy color, we're going to first dry brush it using a Carrick Stone. I used the airbrush uh, version of it, but there's no real strong reason for that. Other than that, that's what I had. So with this first layer, I was very ham-fisted with my dry brushing, just really kind of hammering it in there because I wanted to kind of override the natural brown tone, their almost earthy tone, and get it more looking like a sandstone or a sand. So after uh, all that, we ended up dry brushing it out a little bit, and we end up with something that looks like this. So we're going to do a couple more layers of dry brushing that are going to be more of like a highlighting. So the next layer is uh, Shabbat de Bone. I've totally butchered how that's pronounced. Going a little bit lighter with that, um, not trying to get complete coverage, uh, trying to just pick out the edges and raised areas. And then we finish off using Wraith Bone, which is going to be the lightest uh, dry brush and just kind of highlighting uh, just a little bit to make things pop. After completing the dry brushing and highlighting, I rimmed out the bases using black just to finish them off. And you can see what the final product here looks like. You have a nice a gradient going on with the underlying blue and you have some highlighted texture with the cr uh, cracked earth and here we have their thematic blue which has got a little bit more of a tropical vibe to it but i definitely like how both of these turned out and i'm looking forward to figuring out like maybe some pirates or something that can use these bases anyway thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give the video a like if you want to see more content like this please subscribe to the channel I put out new miniatures videos every week. Uh, if you want to follow what I'm working on currently, you can always follow me on social media. It's uh, Sleepy What's It pretty much everywhere. If you know someone that's working on uh, new models and that this might be a good base run, please share it with them. It will help them out and it will help the channel out. Other than that, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.